Hi guys! A lot of you have requested a DIY lip gloss or lip balm video, so I tried out a bunch of different recipes and today I'm going to show you my favorite one and then how to refill it in your empty EOS containers. I'm Brooke and I'm passionate about making beautiful things for my family on a budget. Here's what you're going to need to get started. Some beeswax, coconut oil, old lipsticks, vitamin E and peppermint oil or any essential oil for scent, and some small plastic pots or your old lip balm containers. First, we're gonna mix our wax and our coconut oil. I have four tablespoons of each here, but you can do any amount as long as it's a one-to-one -one ratio. Beeswax actually comes in a block form like this, but I like to grate it so that it's easier to measure. And then just pour that into a measuring glass or any microwave safe container with a spout. And then we're gonna add our coconut oil, which is actually in a solid form at room temperature. You're gonna pop that in the microwave for about a minute or until it's fully mixed but not boiling. Next, I'm gonna add a few ingredients, but these are all optional. I'm adding some old lipstick to give this a tint, then a teaspoon of vitamin E, which is a natural preservative and moisturizer, and a few drops of peppermint oil because I love the way it smells and feels on my lips. And pop it back in for about 10 seconds until everything's melted and stir. All right, our mixture is done and it smells so amazing. If you're gonna be refilling an old container, unscrew it, pop out the middle piece with a knife, and then we're gonna take this piece that we just popped out of the base and screw it into the lid. Pour in your mixture till it completely covers the plastic and place it in the refrigerator to cool. While that one's cooling, I'm gonna use the leftovers and fill up these little pots that I got at the craft store. All right, these are all done. We're gonna let them sit. Our EOS lip balm is hardened, so we're gonna put this back together and see how it turned out. All you do is pop the base back on and then twist the top off and ta-da! I cannot believe how cool these turned out. It's a great way to recycle your empty containers and it's fun to make them in colors that you can't buy in the store. I love using the clear pots if you're making them for gifts or party favors because you can make a lot at once for really inexpensive and you can customize them with washi tape and stickers. But my favorite way to decorate them is with a simple monogram and a sticker on the bottom. These really look like you bought them at a store. All right, I hope you guys will give these a try. They were actually easier to make than I expected and I think they turned out so cute. Tell me in the comments below if there are any other beauty products you'd like to see me make. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and we'll see you next week. Bye guys. Bye guys. <laughs> Do you wanna put some on your lips? Okay. Okay, put your finger in it. Put it on your lips. Good job.